Hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make a message for our, or a video message for our uh, supporters and longtime allies and friends of Tibet Action who I know have questions about this recent media storm that's been swirling around His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Tibetan world. It's really um, traumatized and upset and angered so many of us. Um, I wanted to just speak to this as a Tibetan, as a mother of three young children, as someone who grew up, born and raised in Canada and the West between two languages, two cultures, two religions. I really feel like I kind of can see this for what it is. And I am so, so devastated that it has happened. And this clip that went viral shows an interaction between His Holiness the Dalai Lama and a child a boy at, at an event in India in Dharamsala, public event. Uh, the child's mother is on stage, the grandfather is on stage next to His Holiness the entire time, though most people who view the viral video will never know that. Um, there's also earlier footage from the same event where that child, because he is, I think the parents, the, their family is sponsoring this event, he gets to present a gift to His Holiness, at the open, a gifts to His Holiness at the opening ceremonies, and His Holiness gives him a blessing, he gives him a hug. There is a beautiful interaction between them where you really get to see, I think it's very consequential to this question, you get to see His Holiness's mindset uh, when he says, with this child standing in front of him, he starts to recollect his own childhood and talk about his now deceased elder brother and remember playing with him and fighting with him. And he does some other like teasing, joking things with this kid in this earlier part of the event that you really see how he is looking at this child and how he is approaching or feeling in this moment. And I really recognize as someone who now has aging parents and knows a lot of aging elderly people, I see also the humanity of His Holiness in this moment where he is just, yeah, he like a lot of people, he's almost 90 years old, a lot of elderly people recall and are sentimental and remember their childhoods uh, more, and especially when, and I really are sort of so happy to be around young children in this way and that it's just such a beautiful and innocent and human sort of feeling that His Holiness, you can see in this interaction. But unfortunately, the viral clip in a world where I think people are really sensitized because of the history of abuse and cover up, uh, abuse of children and the cover up in, within the Catholic Church and other religious institutions. And because His Holiness is, you know, a powerful, um, the head of a religious, um, a religion or, you know, a spiritual um, tradition, I think a lot of people have just taken it, taken this viral clip at for the worst it could possibly mean, and uh, not for a second consider the cultural, the situational, the historical, or the political context. And I think it's really first and foremost important to know that His Holiness has no history of any of the kind of terrible things he's being accused of um, by some people in the world and that he's lived his life under a microscope and nearly nine decades in the public eye and the Chinese government has been looking for any reason to discredit him um, or to undermine him and they have hacked his emails, his office, his office of his holiness, you know, they have been spying on for years and, and there's nothing, there's no there there. Um, what happened in Dharamsala at this event and His Holiness's whole life um, includes nothing uh, to give any merit to such terrible, awful accusations. And I guess it's important for people also to know that the Chinese government has weaponized this video, this clip, and made it go viral and pushed it even, you know, as f so that it would go so much further because their goal is to delegitimize His Holiness, to undermine him and to try to delegitimize and undermine the Tibetan struggle for freedom. Um, and and that's what this is really ultimately about. And, you know, the clickbait journalism and the sensationalism and this quick snap judgments and condemnation that exists now, especially in our online world, is just absolutely um, wrong. And I can feel and see in this moment just how wrong and how, how wrong people can get something. Though I understand a little bit about how this appears, it just, it's not what people think it is. And I am, um, I feel like it's really important for our allies and our friends to stand with Tibetans right now because Tibetans are truly traumatized by this. By this, His Holiness is everything to Tibetans, not just as a religious and spiritual leader, 
but as the light of hope in the darkness for people who've had everything taken from them, who've experienced loss of country, of land, of place, of belonging, of, of um, you know, have experienced torture and uh, our culture and identity stands on the edge of annihilation as China's genocidal policies in Tibet continue to roll out to this day. And that's the crime. That's the real, the, the real abuse, the real story here is China's occupation of Tibet and that's what we need people to know and to see. So while people are paying attention, please help us spread the word about what's happening in Tibet and also help us spread the word about who His Holiness the Dalai Lama is, his commitment to uh, fighting global climate change, his commitment to interfaith tolerance, to secular ethics, to compassion, to peace. That's who he is and that's who the world needs to know. And please help us put those videos and the wealth of information that already exists out there. Um, and that's how we'll fight this. And please just continue to stand with us. Uh, Tibetans need you and His Holiness, you know, uh, needs us all to be compassionate and to, to, to work for justice. And in this case, um, a great injustice has been done, but we can help to right this wrong and it's up to all of us. So thank you for sticking with us. And um, I hope everyone can help in this next phase of the battle.